name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, good morning, everyone, this day after Thanksgiving. Um, if, when you get a chance, you can come and look over here. Um, they're getting ready for the Living Nativity uh, pageant. And so the costumes are all out all over here. Meanwhile, the scriptures today are about the end of the world <laughs> and Jesus coming. And so you have this wonderful circle, the beginning, the end, it's still going on, and we're here in the middle of it. We really are in the middle of what happened in history and what's going to happen eventually in majesty and then what happens in mystery right here in the Eucharist. But do come and watch this. This is, this is quite a scene over here. <laughs> so let us ask that God uh, help to iron out and clean up uh, parts of our hearts. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I'd like to pray today for a group of people who have particularly hard times these days, refugees, exiles, victims of wars, so let us pray. O Lord, to whom no one is a stranger and from whose help no one is ever distant, look with compassion on refugees and exiles, on segregated persons and on lost children and restore them to a homeland and give us a kind heart for the needy and for strangers. And we ask it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshiped the beast or its image nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, and the scrolls were opened. And another scroll was opened, the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead. Then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. 
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Here God lives among his people. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among his people. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed are those whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. Here God lives among his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and you know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The more I think about it as we started the Mass, you you really have to come up over here and see these things. (laughs) The reason, you have costumes that the little shepherds are going to wear in the living nativity. You got angels' wings. You got the robes that the three kings are going to wear. Uh, I think all the stuff like Mary and Joseph. Um, pretty much all all that. And it's really wonderful because that's how this whole story begins, with little Mary in Nazareth, with her visit from the angel, with her. Joseph trying to understand what God's doing eventually with this little baby, with shepherds coming. Eventually, this little child growing up in Nazareth, learning to be a carpenter, learning to be a good Jewish boy, this Jesus. Except that bit by bit, he And those who get to know him realize he's much more than a good Jewish boy. That he is indeed the Messiah. And that not only a Messiah as a son of David, but Messiah as son of God, as the absolute revelation of God's mercy and love. And it all kind of starts with some shepherds and a few scraggly people. And it ends up with this Jesus at the end of time as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings who absolutely defeats all evil. In fact, in some ways, he's really already done it. The victory is assured from the moment of his resurrection. 
but it still takes time to work out in history, in our hearts, in people's. God has his plan. We have no way to say when this, when that, why this. We were just his servants. But when Jesus says, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place, well, he's right, because essentially they all took place in the resurrection of Jesus. And we, dear hearts, are his brothers and sisters. We have been baptized into his birth, his death, his resurrection. We belong to him. We're in him. And our, our lives now are to try to do our very best to live his teachings, to share his love, to welcome one another, and to trust. To trust that God, who is so good that he sent his son as a little baby so long ago, is going to be so good that he's going to take great care of us and of all creation. God lives among his people. Here, here, God lives among his people. And so we pray. We pray for the church of God, all the brothers and sisters around the world. But on this day, especially those who are suffering great persecution and danger for their faith. We pray for refugees and exiles, victims of all kinds of persecution. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray still this holiday weekend for all those traveling, for those who have already been together, those who are perhaps still to meet family, that there be moments of real peace, of great joy that we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those people in the church who have roles of leadership, of guidance, Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the bishops, that God give them wisdom and courage and a great love for his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the sick, for you yourself, if you're not well, for those who care for the sick each day. Today we've been asked to pray in a special way for Holly Donahue, for Dave Kelly, for Patricia, Nancy, for Pat Casey, all those suffering from the pandemics around the world still. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And we pray in this month of the Holy Souls for all of our dearly departed whose names are written on the altar, those we carry always with us in our hearts. That they know the fullness and the joy of the resurrection of Jesus and that we come to all be together forever and ever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in quiet for the people, for the things that are closest to your heart this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, keep us safe and keep us strong. Let our faith and our hope and our love witness to your goodness and to your victory. We pray that through Christ our Lord. God of all creation, 
But through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let us be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be God, God forever. And so then let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, who will that your son should lay down his life to gather into one your scattered children. Grant that this sacrifice of your peace may bring about a communion of minds and hearts and increase in fraternal charity. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our prayers add nothing to your greatness, but they profit us for salvation through Jesus the Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, 
and all those who minister to your people. And remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And then have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so each day as we await the full coming of God's kingdom, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thus this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. For the reception of communion, I'll bring communion to you in your place. If you'd rather not receive, just cross your arms over your chest and I'll pray a prayer of blessing.
us pray. renewed us with the one bread and the one chalice. Grant that in sincerity of heart, we may show true compassion towards strangers and the abandoned, and that all of us may deserve to be gathered together at last in the land of the living. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. I, I think the gift shop is open, is it today? So our regular gift shop is open, and then the sale for prime time is still on if you'd like to go over there. Um, tomorrow, Mass is at 1030, as usual. So the Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. So as you know, um, Sunday is a new liturgical year, the beginning of Advent, and we will have new songbooks. So I'm asking if you can help us. Um, we're going to recycle the old songbooks that are here. So if you could just gather up a few of the songbooks right by you. There's a recycle bin outside. You can just put them in there. If you want to bring some home with you, you're welcome to do that. If you want to, It has all Christmas carols and stuff like that if you want to sing them at home. So uh, feel free to bring some home if you want. Um, also, there are some Advent meditation books on the side table. You're welcome to bring, uh, bring them home. Thank you.